The failed revolt of the Wagner Group last month had far-reaching consequences beyond the escape of its leader, Yevgeny Prigozhin, and the absorption of its troops into the Russian military. During the incident, there were instances of friendly fire within Russian forces, resulting in the destruction of multiple helicopters. Most significantly, an invaluable IL-22M aircraft, known as Coot B by NATO, was lost. It's believed that Wagner troops utilized a Pantsir air defense system, a medium-range surface-to-air missile asset, to shoot down the IL-22 aircraft. This unfortunate incident resulted in the tragic loss of the 10-member crew aboard the IL-22M. In an audio tape released on June 26, the head of the Wagner Private Military Company PMC, sought to justify the short-lived insurrection while expressing regret for the act of downing Russian military planes. The head of the Wagner PMC claimed that they felt compelled to take such actions asserting that they perceived no alternative course of action. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Wagner has inflicted a crucial blow to Russian forces by downing IL-22M. Let's get into the details. The Ilyushin IL-22 Coot B is an airborne command post variant of the Soviet Cold War era IL-18 airliner series. It's similar to the American E-8C Joint Surveillance Target Attack Radar System, also known as Joint Stars. IL-22M serves as an airborne command center, coordinating and directing military forces, as well as collecting valuable intelligence on the battlefield. The aircraft is equipped with advanced communication systems, data links, and command and control equipment. It enables coordination between disparate capabilities, jets and missiles, or electronic warfare and satellite communications. Russia is estimated to have only 12 IL-22Ms, so losing an IL-22M is particularly costly. The British Ministry of Defense said in an update published on June 29th, the loss of this aircraft is likely to have a negative impact on Russian air and land operations. The Ministry of Defense said these special mission aircraft have played a key role in orchestrating Russian forces in their war against Ukraine. As high-value assets, they've operated within the safety of Russian airspace, far beyond the range of Ukrainian air defense systems. The Ministry of Defense said there is a realistic possibility that current tasking levels may have to be reduced to safely manage the remaining fleet. This will likely undermine Russia's ability to command and coordinate its forces, particularly during periods of high-tempo operations. The British Ministry of Defense also stated, in the short term, the psychological shock of losing a large number of aircrew in this manner will almost certainly damage morale within the Russian aerospace force. The Russian Air Force renamed the Vozduzhno Kosmischeskaya Zili VKS, or Air and Space Forces, in 2015, was meant to spearhead Russia's so-called special military operation in Ukraine. The Russian Air Force had a 10-to-1 advantage against Ukraine when the campaign started. It was thought that Russia would have full control of the skies in a few days and would be able to neutralize important military targets like Ukrainian command and control centers, as well as air defense systems. But this has not been the case. C-2 Command and Control and ISR Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance have been the Achilles heel of the Russian Air Force, and this has impacted its effectiveness to a great extent. During the first week of its invasion, it was clear that Russia had issues coordinating large-scale air campaigns. Loss of IL-22M would increase the difficulties since it has unique capabilities, is a force multiplier, and can't be replaced easily. Its loss would benefit Ukrainian forces, which have, at time, struggled to keep up with the Russian aerial onslaught. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.